In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some of the hot spots that my family and I love going to right here in downtown Gilbert. And hey, if it's your first time to my channel, I talk about all things Arizona. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are getting value. And I am a real estate agent located right here in the Southeast Valley. So if you guys are making a move, feel free to call, text, or email. And also down below, I have a relocation guide as well as an escape to Arizona questionnaire. So if you're making the move, you wanna find that right neighborhood, go ahead and fill that out and we'll give you a call, help you out, help you make the move and enjoy this great area of the Phoenix Metropolitan. And right behind me, you can see the Gilbert Water Tower splash pad. I, when my kids were a little bit younger, I really used to love coming down here and let them just soak themselves. And what's super cool about this water tower, as you can see on my shirt here, by the way, is that for different uh, holidays, different festivities, they will light this up different colors. So like 4th of July, you'll see red, white, and blue. Obviously on Christmas, you'll see like it red and green. So really super festive right here in downtown Gilbert. And make sure you stick around to the end. We're gonna visit one of my favorite places here in downtown Gilbert, and it's definitely gonna bring out your inner child. We are at Liberty Market, and this is definitely a really nice place to sit down, kind of casual dining. You go up to a counter, order your food, and go from there. So this is owned by Joe Johnston, who happens to own also Joe's Barbecue over here, as well as Joe's Fresh Farm Grill, one of my favorite places in Agritopia. Now, let me give you guys a little tip here. If it's your birthday, you come here, you get a free $10 meal, okay? $10 towards any meal. You go to Joe's Barbecue, you get yourself another $10 meal, and then you go to Joe's Fresh Farm, you get yourself another $10 meal. It's great, I call it the trifecta. It's a great place to check out. So we have a little bit of a historical facade right here. This is Studio 223, owner is super nice. I've come here for like closing gifts and whatnot. So if you're looking for any Gilbert swag, this is the place to get it. They have a lot of custom made stuff like signs, shirts. Um, I think I've gotten like some envelope openers, anything you can imagine, you can find it here. It's really awesome. Come on in. How do you like this place? Is it good? Oh, love it. Yeah? yeah I bought something. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> You can also come in here, do some DIY stuff. So let's say you have some ideas, the owner will help you make those come to life. And then also you can do like kids' birthday parties here. You can do like, uh, have like a, a bougie wine night with the girlfriends or the boyfriends, whatever it is that you're doing that night. And uh, yeah, it's just a great place to come and create something that has to do with Arizona or Gilbert in general. Gilbert Barbershop, this place is kind of new. I haven't seen it before, but uh, it's looking good. So take a break from the Cowboys and step right up here to get some tacos that are less than $5 a piece at SoCal Fish Taco Company. They have some great crab cakes, tacos, and they even have raw oysters. So this is bringing a little bit of that Southern California flair right here to Gilbert. So places like this in downtown Gilbert are some excellent places to hire a photographer, come in, get your picture taken. As you can see, no photos during business hours, but you know, we like to break the rules here sometimes. So we're here at Heritage Court, which is gonna be on the south end of the strip here in downtown Gilbert. And this is kind of like a little arcade of different shops. I haven't visited them all, but one place I have been to and is very popular is right behind me, that's Romeo's Euro Cafe. So that's got sort of a Mediterranean feel to it. And the menu is huge. So if you guys are into things like Euroses or is that the way you say that? I don't know. If you're into any type of Mediterranean food, this is the place to go. Great for date night. They have a lot of pairings where you can get dinner with wine. So check this place out if you guys have time in downtown Gilbert, it's definitely really good. Another place to check out is Gilbert's very own speakeasy. So this is called the White Rabbit. Every month they have a different password that you have to play along with, get the email, go to the doorman, the security guard, and give them that password in order to enter the speakeasy. So White Rabbit, it's gonna have some maybe lighter fare food like flatbread, it's gonna have some, uh, you know, just some appetizers. I wouldn't go there for a full meal, but you can definitely get a variety of cocktails there. And these are all house-made, custom cocktails by the White Rabbit. This place truly is straight out of the Great Gatsby. So if you guys wanna check out a speakeasy in downtown Gilbert, you have the opportunity here. And then there's a place called the Parlor Room. Let's say the speakeasy isn't open, we can go hang out in the Parlor Room and just wait for a seat to open. No historic district is complete without its local dive bar. 
I present to you Champion Saloon. This is open till 2 a.m. If you're looking to get into some mischief, maybe a little bit of mayhem late at night, that's the place to go. They have pool tables, they have dart boards, and they have an entrance in the back. You can't even go through the front, so go through the back. But hey, it's a cool place to hang out if you're looking for that dive experience. So this building on the corner looks like it used to be an Allstate agent, possibly a real estate agent. Never open. Definitely could use a little bit of love on the exterior of that building. But you get that in some historic districts and that's just the way it is. YouTube Probably before. have. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet I'm you. CJ. Nice to meet you, CJ. <laughs> One of my favorite places, Snooze for breakfast. Obviously, you can bring your dogs here, and if it was winter time, I'm telling you guys, it's 110, like I said before. But if it was winter, this place would be completely packed. You'd have a line out the door, and you'd probably have a pretty significant wait time. And one thing I love about this uh, restaurant is not only the food, but it has what's called a uh, Bloody Thai, one of my favorite, favorite Bloody Mary uh, beverages here in the Valley. And you can even order this mix by the gallon. So if you guys don't wanna make a crazy Bloody Mary mix, come here, you can purchase it by the gallon. I think it's about 20, 25 bucks. So that's what I'll do for special occasions. And the interior of this, guys, super retro. You feel like you're in a 50s diner and they always have some really good music playing. Here we have the porch. As you can see, not too many people hanging outside on the porch on this 110 degree day. Um, one time I was here with my family and I seen somebody walk away with a $400 tab. I don't know if the service was too slow. It was kind of right after COVID, but oh my goodness, could you imagine that? But this place is really awesome. A lot of bright colors in here as well. There's another one in Tempe that I know of, probably another one located somewhere else in the valley, but definitely a great hangout here in downtown Gilbert. Have you seen a party of like 13 arrive without me? I only have a party of like 10 ladies. That's who I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for <laughs> what a coincidence. Shaquille O'Neal plus chicken equals Shaq's Big Chicken. Now this place just opened. I have not eaten here, I cannot attest to it, but um, it's a franchise and they have some fried chicken. So if you're on the strip here in Gilbert, maybe check it out for lunch. Oh, that was good. So hey, this is Peterson's ice cream. This comes all the way from Chicago, Illinois, more specifically Oak Park, Illinois, is their original location. So right here in downtown Gilbert, I've been to the one in Oak Park, I am from Chicago myself, but if you want a little bit of that Chicago ice cream flavor, if that's a thing, here in Gilbert, you got it at Peterson's Ice Cream. Ow! And this spot in downtown Gilbert is pretty cool. It's sort of like an alley, but then you exit the alley and you come into this nice turf area with a little water feature where the kids can run around. And right behind me, you can see we have Barrio Queen to go. So you could order Barrio Queen, which is a really good Mexican restaurant here. I recommend getting the uh, Flight of Margaritas. Their margaritas are out of this world. Chips and salsa will fill you up before you even start the meal. But right here, you can uh, order food. You can get, um, you know, if you want that burrito, if you want tacos, whatever. And then over here to my left is Lolo's Chicken and Waffles. They also had the same thing going on with a to-go section right here. And I've never eaten there before, but I know it's on the Thrillist's top 10, I believe, in the country, uh, soul food restaurants in the United States. So definitely check out Lolo's Chicken and Waffles if you guys come here, or Barrio Queen, both really good choices. One of my favorite places, and it's a newer addition to downtown Gilbert, Culinary Dropout. So Culinary Dropout, like I said, one of the most uh, newest places here in downtown Gilbert. So this is a really unique restaurant. There's a ton of good food, ton of good drinks, American fare, if that's your thing. And when you go into the inside of this place, it is just revolutionary, totally modern, totally hip. They have a place called The Coop that you can rent out for private events as well. And there's a little patio area, which is covered. It's got misters on the outside. And they have things like ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, bags, so a little bit of entertainment for the kids. And what you gotta keep in mind is downtown Gilbert is catered to the kids, to the families. Whew, it's definitely a lot cooler in here with all the misters and the shades. So it makes a big difference on a 110 degree day. So here we have the park, which is part of Oso, the brewery. So no downtown district's complete without a brewery. And that's what we have right here, a two-story brewery. Plenty of seating inside. They have a really nice patio on the outside and they've expanded it to now include what's called the park. So we have a dog park here. We have a little arcade section, VIP cabanas. If you're having an event, you can rent part of this out. 
We have an outdoor bar. And what's super cool is they have a stage now where we could have a DJ, we could have a band, or you could have a uh, just somebody playing the guitar, entertainment for all. And things like the Super Bowl, uh, March Madness will be uh, shown on the big screen here. So really a great place to come with your entire family. And what's so cool about it is you don't have to reserve anything. You don't have to reserve your seats. And you can come hang out here while you wait for your three hour wait at Culinary Dropout in the winter because unfortunately this place is popular. In the summer you can have the entire place to yourself. Whew. This is where the party is going to be next weekend everybody. VIP Cabana here at Oso. I'm not throwing a party. Oh, it's so great. There's fans here and everything. We got misters and fans, and we have a little photo booth. So if you want to come here and take a picture, this whole spot's dedicated to that. Check it out. I see we're stuck on the 4th of July still. Cheese! All right, this is Whiskey Row right here, guys. There's a Whiskey Row like in Scottsdale, downtown Scottsdale, Tempe. But uh, this one in Gilbert caused a little bit of controversy when it first opened, but it is a pretty wholesome place, I think, a great place to go to if you want that extra late night kick at the end of the night on the weekends. So here you can obviously some country bands play, and then they also have live DJs playing things from country to dance music, so it's not all just country. So there is quite a variety here. You can have some parties here. They got a cool little indoor-outdoor club night at the Roxbury style thing going on. When we walk by, we'll show you guys that. But uh, definitely a great place to hang out. I love it here, and uh, I think it's a pretty fun bar. Another thing about Whiskey Row here is they have line dance lessons. I believe they have kind of like swing. I don't exactly know what you call it, but that country swing lessons as well. But primarily line dancing. So if you guys want to come learn how to dance country style, this is the place to be. Prep and Pastry is opening. So this used to be a couple other uh, restaurants, but uh, looks like we have something new, breakfast, lunch, and brunch. And I think that's a great idea for Gilbert because it is a little bit of a sleepy town. So if you're gonna open up a restaurant here, anything that closes at like two o'clock and serves breakfast, brunch, lunch is a great concept. So I'm definitely, uh, I'm long calls on that if I had to buy some options, so. So right here we have Bergie's Coffee House. Now it's gone, of course. So it's just left with kind of like this, uh, dead front yard and little building in the back but it used to be so quaint so cute and they sold to a uh, company called bottled blonde so it's obviously a bigger conglomerate they're going to be opening up a nightclub and it's going to be a two-story building that they're going to erect here and it's a pizza place during the day and a complete party at night so a lot of gilbert residents are in an uproar about it because we're a family-friendly town we don't need people out here vomiting and uh, getting arrested assault uh, robberies and that's kind of what happens at bottled blonde so not to say i don't support it but um, i think people have the right to put any type of business they want but that is the controversy here in downtown Gilbert. Here we have Topo. Now you're probably wondering what the heck is this big gopher on the side of Gilbert Road? Well, it is Topo. And um, I don't know like the whole story behind the gopher, what that means exactly. I know I've looked it up before, but uh, this is a great place. If you want to get a burrito like on the run, boom, come here. This is one of the best like mesquite style burritos I've had uh, in my life. It's super good. And then they have the really, uh, really good soft serve ice cream as well. And you can see the prices aren't too bad here. So it's a great place to just stop, get some food, look at a weird looking gopher and uh, call it a day. So we're here at another totally revamped business and this was revamped in 2019. So it's fresh and new and it's the Hale Theater, ladies and gentlemen. So this place has obviously a lot of arts, a lot of culture, a lot of plays happening inside, live plays if that's your thing. A beautiful artistic theater inside awaits you and tickets are usually 30 to $50 a piece. So if you're visiting Gilbert, I definitely recommend a stop at the Hale Theater. Antonio thought it was kids' plays, but look at all these plays. I don't believe these are all kids' plays. I mean, aren't plays a little bit more directed towards kids? I don't know. I mean, these are kids or adult plays, so you'll have fun no matter what your age is. So you can see here, this almost looks like a new build. It is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely kept its character from its previous renovation. So guys, there are just a ton of restaurants, retail shops. Now I haven't even visited them all because I have limited time and I don't want you guys to be stuck on this video all day, but you really need to get to downtown Gilbert. Check out all of the fun restaurants, retail, and the entertainments. It is truly amazing. And with that, we're going to go check out one of my favorite places. I really wish I got here more often. And that is level one arcade bar. And Antonio, I hope you brought your wallet because I left mine in the car. 
<laughs> so here we are, level one arcade bar. Special thanks to Cam, he just ran into the back, but uh, I forgot my wallet, and so he gave us some free tokens. We're gonna check out some of these pinball games and my favorite NBA jam. So check out these games, guys. Now, the old school arcade games are gonna be one token, which is 25 cents, and the pinball machines are gonna be a dollar. So just keep that in mind when you come here. But I think it's a great value. Ah! They do have Michael Jordan in this game, by the way. Street Fighter 2? Oh, this used to be the bomb back in the day, right here. Turtles. I used to play this at the roller rink. Uh, this stuff's a little bit too old for me. I'm not quite in the centipede. I'm just about to leave, but I forgot to tell you guys about the farmer's market that happens here, as well as the Gilbert Art Walk. So we have the Gilbert Art Walk, where they sell artistic things, whether it's knickknacks or actual art that people are creating. So that's right behind me, typically, right below the water tower. And then uh, just across the street, this happens every Saturday, by the way, across the street, we have a farmer's market. We have things like fresh produce. We have people uh, doing face paintings for kids, a lot of kid-friendly activities. We also, um, you know, have, like, they'll sell hot sauce there. So this happens every Saturday in the summer. It's from 7 to 11. Believe it or not, people are out here braving the heat. And then during the winter months, it's from 8 to 12. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of downtown Gilbert. Always something happening, even when it's 110 degrees out. And remember, if you guys are making the move to Arizona, I do have a relocation guide down below, which you can download. I also have a uh, questionnaire. So if you're looking to make the move, we'll figure out what neighborhood works best what area of the Phoenix metro area works for you. And guys, be sure to like and subscribe and contact me if I can help you. We'll see you on the next one.